All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So, of course, last episode, we asked the keys of people of interest, you said Crow, and uh, lo and behold, on my mini-map, it said a little chibi little crow face. So, now I can come over to Crow, and then hopefully Crow will be like, hey, my people of interest is Akiza, and then Akiza will then be on the mini-map. But I guess we can play against Crow. Um, if you guys don't know, I don't like Crow. Like, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, inform you if you're new here or anything like that. Nope, her purchase is not Akiza, damn it. All right, so I can go and talk to Yusei, and then maybe Yusei will tell me about Akiza, you know? That's what I'm hoping, but I don't like Crow. I mean, we'll duel him, because, of course, we can't, you know, not duel him. We're already here. Maybe duel him twice, best two out of three in this episode, but I don't like Crow. I don't like Crow. I don't like the attention of Black Rings. They're, like, one of the most loved archetypes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm just I'm sick of them. Like, they always get fucking new Crow cards, and then they brought Crow back for Arc V, and I'm just like, Crow, go the fuck away. I don't like you. Like, Crow, you suck. Go suck a dick in a banana, because that is all that you are, so... Anyway, we'll just go ahead and go against Crow. We might lose, you know? He doesn't have all of his great, great cards, but, you know, Black Wings, they naturally started off pretty strong, so I would not be surprised if, you know, he has uh, some pretty good plays right here. So, uh, Burden the Mighty is not too terrible against him, you know? It's not good against XC monsters, but there's no XC monsters here right now. Um, kind of a little... I would, I would not lie if I said I wasn't a little bit afraid of Heavy Storm, you know? Just, just a little bit. Just, just a, it's a tiny bit afraid of Heavy Storm. If I get Heavy Storm right now, I will flip a table. But for now, we'll just try. Because, you know, Synchro Summoning is good, but it commits a lot of resources. So he can go like, you know, Synchro Summon, Synchro Summon, Synchro Summon, and I'll be like, alright, that's fine. Or he can just go on the defensive. You know, that's fine with me too. Yeah. You know, and of course he also has that. Doesn't he have like a trap card that destroys all sets and shit? So... Uh, or Icarus Attack, or Icarus Attack, you know, he has that too. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Icarus Attack at it too. Alright, oh, well, I got Breaker at least. So I can go Breaker Break. I love Breaker. I, I want more Breakers. What's Breaker at in this game? It if he's like limited to one, I'd be sad. I love Breaker. Breaker is one of my favorite cards. I remember when he was limited though. Yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Oh shit, you're like, that's how it's gonna be fun. I'll just play MST. Yeah, you got it, sir. Oh, there goes my bottomless. Right? RIP my bottomless. Alright, MST negate. Alright, so. I'm just gonna poke you for 16. Probably should have equipped my nuzzle. But I'm actually okay with the Breaker sitting at 16 because he could possibly summon like a Blackwing and try to attack over him, and then I could just play my, my Rush Reckless. And then he can run into that and die. So we're about even with resources right now. Yeah, so I thought, sure. Alright. I thought you were going to do that, you little cheeky bitch. See? See? Uh, so, the monster games attack. So, uh, you just activated my trap card, my boy. Yee. I'm gonna go up to 23, you're gonna run right into that? Ah, yes. Yeah, take that, Crow. Beating Crow's ass. Uh, I don't know what that guy does. Uh, yes, I would like to check that card. Uh, blah, 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 Oh, okay, sure, whatever, that's fine. Yeah. I also gotta be afraid of, uh, prepare for a Kalut, too. Like, shit, he has, like, a Kalut, and I get fucked up, so. Gotta be careful of that. Draw, like the vortex. Alright, that's fine. Uh, like I said I still have my uh, play. I still have my uh, metamorph. So that would bring me up to 19. So if he tries to do that sure shit again, and after that cubic shit, I'm not surprised. If he tries that sure shit again, I can just hit him with another counter. Who? You know, you be playing some of the things. Like I said, there's like a list of good black wings, and there's a list of bad black wings, and then. I mean, sure, that's a good Blackwing. Boy, that's a good Blackwing, you know? But who? Who? Who the fuck is Ghibli? Ghibli? Whatever. And then the fucking one that hit me for a thousand? You're pulling the cards in direct attack. Switch the card from your hand. Once you turn, you can switch the original attack and defense of this card into the enemies. Okay. So I guess you're planning to summon him, switch your attack and defense, and crash? Is that your plan? Yes. Yes, I guess. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate Metamorph. 
Uh, put to my shit and go up to 19, and then you're gonna run into it again. Yep. Ah, Crow. Well, he was never the smartest character in the show. <laughs> he definitely was not, so now I'm 19. So now he won't fall for any of my tricks again anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and summon Garros. Then I'm gonna quit. Never mind, never mind. Uh, Fake Feather. So summon Blackwing Monster from your hand to guard, then select one trap card in your opponent's graveyard. This card will go. Oh, so you're gonna copy Mavatamus. Yup, that's fine. You can have that, that ain't what I'm mad at. Alright, so I'm gonna clip my nose like to, to my Breaker now. So, Breaker, you can go up to a nice, powerful 2600, my boy. Alright, so, Breaker, tuck. And said, I mean, the play was cute, but it was like, your opponent has to have a decent trap in the graveyard. You play it, you pitch a card, and hopefully the trap card is worth it, because you're nagging. It's just, you know, like it just happened to me that I had the bottom list in my graveyard. Ooh, Destiny Draw. What could you possibly Destiny Draw at this point in Black Wings? You have one card. Like, Black Wings don't do anything with one card. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know? One card? One card, Crow. Hey, Hopefully it's a Toronto Tribute, because I got Lila right here, so... Shout out to my homegirl, Lila. <laughs> Lila Pop. A lot of Spellcasters and Warriors in this deck. Who was it? Call the Haunted. Not the worst card for your Destiny Girl. Alright, GG Crow, GG. E. He has some good plays. He has some bad plays, but he has some good plays. Like, I, I could see I could see him as a tech partner. It's just, I hate Crow. So, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, Crow. I don't want you liking me. Oh, I actually, you know what? Yeah, the day is over. Never mind. I was like, I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna run another duel on Crow. Like, never mind. The duel is over. The duel is over, big boy. <laughs> All right, so day is over. Uh, so, uh, is anybody here? Any people of interest? No, it looks like the city is empty once again. That sucks. Sucks. So I guess Crow. I guess you gotta ask them twice. So I gotta find Crow. Or Crow's not around. Maybe he's still asleep. It's early in the morning. All right, have I dueled against you? Yes, fucking Yuma beat my ass three times. You're Jose, Jose or Hose? Like, what kind of name is that? Okay, I thought you were George, and you are Cherry. Never dueled against you, and you are Reina. I felt like I dueled against Reina, but it says I haven't. And are you George? No, you're Leo. So I do. All right, a lot of people here. A lot of people here. So, uh, I guess I'll get go to the item machine. Yeah. Because I need to go light a machine. I mean, it would be nice to buy more packs and cards and stuff. But, you know, uh, I don't know what she likes. Like, I could look up a guide, but, I mean, what's the fun of that? You know, like, I'm not really playing this game to do too much. I'm literally just playing this game to have fun. You know, playing Yu-Gi-Oh, not at the meta, not, you know, competitiveness. Just playing against the computer, you know? So... I, like I said, I, would, I have no idea what she'll like. I mean, giving her gifts is better than not giving her gifts. I didn't even look in, at what was available. I clicked. Like you said, I'm not going to look up any guides, but I'm not going to admit you guys giving me tips and tricks. So you could be like, hey, you know, a key to life season. I'll be like, cool. <coughs> so if you guys want to do the work, you know, make it more interactive, uh, then sure, you know, I'll go ahead and... Uh, and do that, but I'm not gonna look up guides because I mean, what'd be the fun in that, you know? But it is fun and interactive if you guys tell me what's up, you know? So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and spend my money. Oh, because I landed on all the same, I got all of them. Oh, that's kind of a neat bonus if you, if you land on all the same, then instead of picking one, you get all of them. So, you yeah. know, I'm just gonna spend my points on giving gifts for Tiza, then hopefully I see her, then hopefully, hopefully I see someone, you know? Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if Crow, it takes it two times for Crow to actually tell me the people of interest so I can see them, you yeah. uh, uh, so who should we duel for this episode? Like I said, Yuma will beat my ass, so you have Jose. Uh, I believe that the, the officers give more points, I want to say? Wait, why did I say invite? Yeah, like... Duel, like, I don't even want you to use fucking random officer. I think it takes a while to invite people. I say maybe like three hearts, two, three hearts. I don't believe it's just one heart. So, that's going to take a while. A while, I'll go first. 
You know, don't mix up Legacy and this, you know, because you gotta figure out. In Legacy, I prefer to go second so I can get that draw for them. But in this game, you get your sixth draw, so, you know, you wanna mix it up. Yay, oh, always, 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 always get, uh, uh, Avarice. <laughs> so hopefully, I mean, if I need to make use of it, I can make use of it. Now, Beauty Assailant, not the best card to be using. Oh, I love DDs in here, too. I got DD Assailant, DD Survivor, you know. I love DD Assailant, too. She's a, she's a good card, too. Wow, just that one card. Like, alright, you got some serious balls, Jose. Some serious fucking balls, my boy. Alright, so I'm just going to summon Garoth and poke you. TT? Solemn warning. Okay. So, he has that card. I wish I had that card. Still ballsy that you only said that one card, but that's fine. Go ahead. That's fine. You paid 2,000 life points for a monster I was going to poke you with for 1850. You know? So that's fine. You know, we can even out with resources. Alright, Jose sets another card and just ends. Like, Jose, ho Hose, what you doing, boy? Alright, Burden of Might, nice. Alright, now I'm not going to change my battle position. You know, you can still have like a mirror force or something. So for now, do you survivor? You got another Solemn? If it's, I would say if it's another Solemn, you can have that, then you're mad. You know? Deep Prison, Mirror Force, I don't care. You know? I really don't. Like, if it's, a, if it's a Mirror Force, I don't care. If it's Deep Prison, I really don't care. It's fucking DD Survivor, you know? Uh, if it's like a Sakura's armor, I don't care, you know, it's just more monsters in the graveyard for, uh, um, uh, Everest, so. Alright, Darkon, I move from play, blah, 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 oh shit, oh shit, motherfucker, yeah. So, he's just going to fuse it up, Gores and his Earth Monarch into that motherfucker, that stank bitch. Yeah, how strong is he? Forty fucking three. All right. So, what is your monster effect? Uh, in this card of attack, you could change all defenses monster bonuses. But luck is not at this time. Uh, can I do forbidden child to negate his effect? You know what? This is this is an experiment. This is an experiment. I mean, I'm fucked either way, but, I mean, if this works and he actually drops down... Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. Well, up, 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 down, up, down. I saw, I saw up, but then I saw down. Your effect's gonna get it. Zero attack? Zero attack, my boy? Yee! Yes! <laughs> nice! <laughs> he got wrecked! <laughs> awesome. I'm happy about that. I was like, I was like, I'm not sure if he would, you know, just go up. Either way, I had it, I had it covered, you know? Because I could just, um, you know, figure it, you know? I would took some damage, but fuck it, you know, I have 8,000 light points, so. But I wanted to see, and you know what? Experiments pan out. It's pan out, my boy. You can get rid of that. Oh, it's just that. Alright, well, and turn us to attack mode. Oh, shit, you might have gores. This is risque. This is risque. Alright, so, of course, always attack with the weaker monster first. You know, that's gores 101. So, no, it doesn't look like you have gores. Attack directly for game. GG. Did I just beat you, Jose? Yeah! Hey. <laughs> so... He sent the Miracle Fusion, which I don't know why. You gotta give me a nice chunk of money. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rematch you. Why not? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh... I don't know why he sent the Miracle Fusion. Why... Like, if he didn't set the Miracle Fusion, which he didn't need to, he could've gorged me, you know? Because I was poking him directly. Oh, Solomon? That was fine, I mean, I guess. You know? We even doubt, but I guess maybe the monster was more of a threat than I let on because he didn't have anything to play at the time, so the 1850 would have kept poking him, you know? So that's fine, but he set the Miracle Fusion when he couldn't even play it, which means, the, you know, the Gores is him, which of course he ended up fusing with the Gores, but he could use the Gores, you know? Gores, we, we, you know, we don't fuck around. This was before, you know? Gores, got, remember, Gores was limited at one point. <laughs> don't fuck around. Alright, so, summon T-King. Uh... Set to shrink, and I will end my turn, sir. So you're just gonna pull off the play first turn? If you if you just go ahead and do the Dark Call and Fusion play first turn, no, he's just gonna bring control me. Okay. So of course this is pre-Urana. <laughs> I mean he could bring control that. Wow. 
that he's gonna bring a charm, then he's going to MST my shrink, so I guess I might as well play and cut my T King in half for the end of the turn until the end of the turn. I'm just wondering if he's actually gonna like tribute summon it or what, you know? That's fine. You gonna tribute summon? No, you're just gonna poke me with it. Wow. Yeah, so you're gonna brain control just to poke me with it. Like, alright, alright, so. No, no, you are gonna tribute. <sighs> alright. I guess you really wanted to tribute set that monster? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that. Whatever. Alright, I'll just summon Kaiku skin condition. I mean, you tribute sets. I'm assuming you have some stats. Wow! The fuck tribute sets a fucking monarch? Are you on crap! Wow. Alright, Jose. Alright, Jose. Alright, Jose. Wow. Wow. So not only did you poke me for the 950, you could attribute some. This could attribute some, and I guess this effect is mandatory. So I guess that's why you don't want to do it, because there's nothing. Return to the Return one card on the field to the top of the other deck. So I guess you don't want to tribute summon him only and then return him. But still, you could, you, you could have set this. Then tribute some tribute summon for this. Return this to the top of your deck. Then poke me for 24. Like, we're not friends anymore, fucking Jose. We are not friends anymore, my boy. That's fine. I was going to pop it anyway. So, I was going to attack you first because it seems like my tax went through last turn. Okay, oh, so you had that set. You see me? You saw me summon Kaiku, and instead of solemn warning my fucking... So instead of solemn warning my Kaiku, who you knew was going to destroy your monarch, which then you could have flipped the monarch next to... Jose, man, you are fucking bad, man. Wow, I forgot to act with Kaiku. I'm talking about... I'm so busy about him being bad that I forgot to act with my effect because I'm bad. Like, Jose, your badness is rubbing off on me, you fucking jerk. Like, fuck you, Jose. Destiny draw? Sure. Is it Gorse? Is it your fucking Dark Calling or whatever? Nope, it's just a card face down. That's fine, because I can pop that with uh, my other Lila. Unless it's another warning. Unless it's another warning. And it's another warning. God, do you have a playset of warning? What set does that come in, my boy? What pack? I want a playset of warnings. <laughs> I would actually play it correctly instead of what the fuck you're doing. Like, you should have just let me summon my Lila because you thought I was going to pop it and then you would have survived another turn because you just flipped up warning on my Lila and then my Kaiku can just attack it for game. Like, Jose, man. Jose the bad. Jose the terrible. So, get the fuck out of here, Jose. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. I actually did three duels in this one video. And the majority of it was me just kicking Jose's butt, because fucking Jose is trash. Like, wow, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Alright, so I could probably buy more gifts and stuck on Jose. Uh, but I'm gonna go buy me some more packs. And I feel like buying packs. Uh, so, uh, what do we have that's good in here? Well, we have Master of Spells, which would be fine. Uh, we got some new packs, which is like, uh, Fairy type pack, uh, uh, Dark pack, Wednesday's Water pack, so I'm guessing today's Wednesday, Awesome Warrior pack, blah blah blah. Uh, I got some good things here. You know what? I'm gonna get the Ultimate Monsters Pack. Buy me lots of it. So, uh, not that button. This button. Yep. Oh, there it goes all my money. Alright, so, we bought the packs of lots of monsters. Open up all the packs and let's see what we get. So, that, that. Uh, is there anything good in here? Got some glads, some DD Crows. Uh, got a, this glad beast guy. He's not terrible. So, yeah. so, I guess I purchased four. So, that means I got four. You know, I'm gonna put him in my deck. I mean, he is a 1900, and my deck is all about beaters. You know, I can replace some 1800s or some 1700s with this 1900, so that's not terrible. It's not terrible, yeah. I'm guessing I was having copies of it that I pulled, so I pulled two D Crows, so that's not terrible either. You know, not too much sighting. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of glads in here. You know, if I can make glads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, but sorry, that one in this game. <laughs> no! <laughs> I pulled three. <laughs> I was like, hey, glad. <laughs> uh, this card stuff attacks directly. You can look at one random card in your opponent's hand. Do a spell card to your great right card attack. Oh. I'm going to tell you, hey, I can look at my opponent's hand. But no, no, because then I go defense position. Never mind. I'd like to say this card's pretty good. Then, no, it's, of course, I turned it on with the goblin. I thought maybe it wouldn't, but it does. Hey, Tyrant Neptune, my boy. Now I can just fucking island use that lyrical Lucidia and burn. Oh, let's go. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Uh, I'm not really pulling anything too great, you know? Nah, not at all. Not at all. 
I mean, I'm, I'm getting some lads, you know, I'm, gl I'm getting some lads. You know, it just sucks that starting that one, I don't need guys. I always say I don't need a handful of fucking cards. I got a quest, so that's pretty good. Uh, Heraclinos, um, yeah, I didn't, I was, the, the best card that I said I pulled was the fucking Gladiator Beast, uh, Andal, because he's a 19 beaver, so I can just start my deck, but I spent all that money, and I really didn't get too much, you know? So if I want to make glad, I mean, I guess I'm one step closer, but I don't know. With, with the star yet, one? Like, come on, man. Come on, you know? So, yeah. Not not, not the best of pools. Not the best of pools. Uh, uh, I don't know. Fucking, give me a pack of Master Spells. Might be able to pull an MST. <laughs> Let me pull an MST. <laughs> I just want to kind of get a peek at this pack if I want to... Nah, there's nothing. None of these cards are good. They're all trash, you know? That's that. That's pulling trash. <laughs> I got one, one dollar, one dollar, my boy, one dollar. <laughs> Living on the edge. All right, people, we are done here. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack Force Five. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play them. So I once again, I think that we got all our technical difficulty issues fixed, which is great because uh, you know a nice chunk of the channel right now is Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. You know, we got pretty much four days of it, you know, two of the Attack of Five, two like to do so I gotta make sure to call these up, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like the cart reviews are too fake, but right now, I'm okay with the channel, you know, uh, it kinda sucks that, and I apologize that we're not really doing anything too interactive, like I said, Leak is slowly, slowly gathering, you know, I almost got all the duels for round two, so we can hopefully get back into that, but, you know, uh, I'm just really not into Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, like, this is as fun as I have playing Yu-Gi-Oh! This and Legacy, where, you know, I'm not too devoted to the competitiveness, spending money, you know, going out of my way, uh, just going against the computer and having fun, you know? So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you guys next time with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, which I guess would be during the weekend with some more uh, Legacy of the Duelist. So, alright people, thanks for watching.